Hi Scorpio and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here. My apologies on posting this up a little later than expected. I have been feeling under the weather and I wanted to be at 100% uh, here when I do your reading. So again, my apologies and thank you for your patience. So today I'll be uh, channeling messages focusing on what blessings are potentially coming in your direction here in this month of March. I know we're practically towards mid-March at this point. Um, so we'll take a look at those messages in that context. Okay. So pretty much now until the end of March. Now, remember, uh, messages may resonate farther than March. Okay. Because we all have our own, uh, timeline, right? So messages can in a way show themselves in various ways in various timelines. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to take a look here at what blessings are coming in your direction here in the month of March. And if you are interested in the extended portion of this reading, just look down below in the description box. There you will see a uh, an official Patreon link. Click on that link and join me on Patreon, where you're going to get the exclusive bonus messages. There, I will continue to talk about your potential blessings that are coming in your direction. I'll give you more clarity on that. And I'll also take a look at what messages are coming through for you in regards to how you can maximize your blessings by the mindset that you need to have in this month of March. Okay. So that's what these actually, these, um, decks are here for, for part two. But in the meantime, let's take a look here. Potential blessings that are coming in the direction here for Scorpio. Scorpio potential blessings that are coming and you have here. Wow. Start delegating. All right. Beautiful energy here. This could be, um, this could be a plus. Okay. And I'm looking at it as a plus. All right. Even if it may feel for some of you that you will be extremely busy and your hands, you know, you're juggling things. Cause that's what I just saw hands juggling. Um, you know, that you're going to be juggling, multitasking, having a lot of responsibilities for some of you it may feel a little bit daunting or overwhelming. And that's how it's coming across, but it's a positive thing. Because in this situation, I'm looking at this as some sense of like abundance coming in your direction. So things speeding up. Okay. There could be opportunities coming in your direction. Um, more, um, lucrative contracts, uh, uh, kind of that good busy is how I'm, I'm seeing this. Okay. Now with that good busy comes the reality that only in one day we all have 24 hours, right? So it's pretty much kind of taking a look at how you're going to delegate, okay? How are you going to manage all this type of responsibility or beautiful opportunities that are coming in your direction? How are you going to be able to maximize your time? How are you going to be able to dabble in and give the opportunity, you know, give those opportunities a chance and to take them, right? Well, here it's talking about delegation. So one way, um, that this blessing is coming in your direction is pretty much telling you there is a need here for you to start looking at the structure of what you may already be in experiencing here in the month of March and seeing how you can delegate some of that, um, work. It says here, ask others to help you instead of trying to do everything yourself. And there may be this kind of micromanaging energy that you may have been uh, here in the earlier part of March, for some of you, February or January, maybe even before, where you feel that if you're not put, if you, if your hands are not in the project, or if your hands are not in whatever it is that uh, requires that type of attention, skill, and, and you know all that energy, like it's not going to be right right? Um, and, and this is saying here, it's okay for you to not have to put a thousand percent energy in a thousand projects. It's okay for you to take a look at things from a, a, an objective point of view and really select the things that you really need to put more energy in and look at the things that other people, right? Other people, family members, friends, your spouse, okay? Colleagues, um, you know, your staff, uh, you know, just different people that can add help that can move 
the idea so that you can have a little bit more energy for those responsibilities or those tasks that really do need your attention, okay? So it's all about teamwork. It's all about working collaboratively collaboratively here in the month of March so that you can maximize your own potential. Okay. Yep. And here you have purification. So this is talking about doing away with this micromanaging, doing away here with this idea that you have to do everything that, you know, the, all the responsibilities only may lay on you or that you're the only person that can get it right. Okay. So, um, you know, for some of you, this may be Maybe training other people, maybe um, allowing your friends, family, loved ones, spouse, your partner, and especially if this is in the career sector, your friends, your colleagues, your coworkers, your supervisor. And if you are the supervisor, the manager, um, the CEO, it's pretty much understanding that, you know what, pick those people in your circle, in your sphere that can really um, help you right? That you don't need to micromanage because you trust in their own skills and expertise. Okay. Now let's take a look here at what other blessing is coming here in your direction in the month of, yep. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Well, guess what? Some of you, this is talking about your career. It's like you have a lot of projects or there are opportunities that are coming in your direction. You want to take all of them because all of them seem like a great potential, a great lucrative opportunity. But guess what? At the end of the day, we all get 24 hours. Okay. So how can you maximize this either career opportunity or this life purpose, okay? Doesn't always have to be in career. It could be life purpose, especially here, things having to do with the family. How can you develop a healthy, balanced family or personal life balance with your career? Your free time versus your work time, okay? And I feel here for you, Scorpio, this is talking to you about the blessing of, again, multitasking, but more so about how can you multitask in a team? How can you work with other people with all these opportunities, responsibilities, or tasks that you may have in front of you? How to stop that micromanaging and really maximize your own potential here by using your resources. It's like the magician energy uh, in tarot, the magician card in tarot. You have all these um, resources in front of you. How are you going to make it happen? Can't do it all by yourself, right? You have certain tools, certain skills. And in this case, I'm seeing those tools and those skills as people that can help you in this moment in time in maximizing your own energy and your own potential by using the help of others and collaborating. Now, I have a whole lot more to uh, talk to you about and to share, but you need to meet me down below in the description box. Click on that Patreon link. Meet me on Patreon where I'll talk about more of these blessings that are coming in your direction and what mindset you need to have in order to maximize it. In the meantime, click here on the Lexa Tarot logo to be part of the Lexa Tarot family. Click down here, click up here for more messages. I'll see you soon.